So in the course of the right coronary artery, an area is mentioned, which is the meeting point at the postro inferior aspect of the heart. A meeting point of what? A meeting point of interatrial groove, the posterior atrioventricular groove and the posterior interventricular groove. So though atria ke upper jo groove hote hain, phir atria aur ventricle ke beech mein jo groove hota hai, jisko coronary sulcus bhi kehte hain, aur phir uh, interventricular groove hota hai posterior aspect pe. Ye jo hain teen grooves, jis point pe, jis region pe milte hain, wo ek cross ki tarah appear hota hai to the naked eye on the surface of the heart. Kaun si surface? Posterior inferior surface. That point is called crux of the heart. So it is at this point, the right coronary artery gives rise to atrioventricular nodal branch. So I hope this point is clear to everyone. So um, the SA nodal branch, which is in 60% of the population, is given as a branch or it arises as a branch of right coronary artery. It arises from the right coronary artery near the origin of the artery itself. And it ascends to the SA node, of the, which is our area of the heart concerned with the conducting system of the heart. It is distributed to the pulmonary trunk and SA node. The right marginal artery the right marginal artery, which is actually one of the largest branch of the right coronary artery, it arises from the right coronary artery after it gives off the SA nodal branch and it passes to the inferior margin of the heart up till the apex and it is distributed to the right ventricle and apex of the heart and itself it terminates by giving off the interventricular branches the av nodal branch arises from the right coronary artery near the origin of the posterior interventricular artery. It passes to the AV node, atrioventricular node, and it also ends by supplying the same node. Posterior interventricular artery is the very famous branch of right coronary artery. In this diagram, you're able to see both interventricular arteries. Now, what do I mean by both interventricular arteries? There are two interventricular arteries that run on the anterior and posterior aspects uh, of the interventricular groove. Okay, so, wo artery, jo anterior aspect of the uh, anterior surface pe, of the heart pe, interventricular groove mein run kar rahi hogi, uska naam kya hai? Anterior interventricular artery. Wo artery, jo interventricular groove ke posterior aspect pe run kar rahi hogi, uska naam kya hoga? Posterior interventricular artery. For now, we are talking about, since we are explaining the course and branches of the right coronary artery, so in reference to that, 67% of the, in the population, the posterior interventricular artery is a branch of right common, uh, right coronary artery. When in that case, it is a branch of the right uh, coronary artery, it runs in the posterior interventricular groove till the apex of the heart. And it is distributed to the right and left ventricles and posterior third of the interventricular septum. This posterior interventricular artery, it ends by anastomosing with the anterior interventricular artery that in most of the cases arises from 
right a left co a coronary artery so you can see in this um, particularly in this diagram on the left side of the slide you can see the two interventricular arteries anterior and posterior are anastomosing near the apex of the heart both of these arteries for you as student of anatomy from examination point of view are very important so broadly we have covered the right coronary artery its course branches and the distribution of its branches so broadly we can say that the right coronary artery is responsible for supplying the right atrium most of the right ventricle part of the left ventricle along the diaphragmatic surface along the diaphragmatic surface part of the interventricular septum in the form of posterior interventricular artery supplying the posterior third of the septum 60% of the population it is responsible to supply the sa node and in 80% of the population it is responsible to supply the av node and how does it terminate the right coronary artery how does it terminate it terminates by anastomosing with the circumflex and anterior interventricular branches from the left coronary artery the left coronary artery left coronary artery arises from the left aortic sinus of the ascending aorta it passes between the left auricle and the left side of the pulmonary trunk and continues to run within its own sulcus which sulcus is that coronary sulcus also called atrioventricular groove in approximately 40% of the population the sa nodal branch arises from the left coronary artery its circumflex branch and ascends on the posterior surface of the left atrium to reach the sa node as the left coronary artery continues to run within the coronary sulcus when it <clears throat> reaches the superior end of the anterior interventricular groove this beta is the anterior view of the heart here we you can see the anterior aspect of the interventricular groove when it reaches the upper part of the this groove the left coronary artery divides into its two major branches the anterior interventricular artery which is famously known as by the practicing doctors as left anterior descending artery so left so anterior interventricular artery is also known as anterior interventricular artery is also known as left anterior descending artery so um left coronary artery at the upper end of the um, anterior interventricular groove divides into anterior interventricular artery and circumflex arteries the anterior interventricular artery passes along the interventricular groove till it reaches the apex of the heart here it turns around the inferior border of the heart and commonly anastomoses with the posterior interventricular artery which is a branch of right coronary artery the anterior interventricular artery gives off lateral branch which is also known as diagonal branch again one of the very famous branches from the left coronary artery <clears throat> this diagonal branch basically courses over the anterior surface of the heart predominantly over the left ventricle now what about 
the smaller terminal branch of the left coronary artery, which is the circumflex branch. The circumflex branch, now it is going to follow the coronary sulcus. Now this branch, after arising from the left coronary artery, will run in the left coronary sulcus. And it will turn around the left border of the heart in order to reach the posterior aspect of the heart. This is the posterior view of the heart. And here you can see the coronary sulcus and within it lies the circumflex artery. Here, the left marginal branch of the circumflex artery will be given off and will continue along the left margin of the heart and will end by supplying the left ventricle. After giving off the marginal artery, the right, uh, these coronary, uh, this uh, circumflex branch of the left coronary artery, after running for some short distance in the coronary sulcus, it will end by anastomosing with the main stem from the opposite side of which branch, of which artery, right coronary artery. As a whole, the left coronary artery supplies what regions of the heart it is responsible to provide the blood supply to left atrium, most of the left ventricle, part of the right ventricle, and most of the interventricular septum, the anterior two thirds of the interventricular septum, including the AV bundle of the conducting system of the heart, and in 40% of the people, it is responsible to provide the blood supply to the SA node of the heart as well. And in 20% of the population, it supplies the AV node too. But as the cardiac dominance hai, ya dominance of heart, ya dominance of the coronary arterial system, these are two or three names by which this term is um, known. It is defined as the artery that gives rise to the posterior interventricular artery. Now the posterior interventricular artery is also known as posterior descending artery. So cardiac dominance depends karti hai ki koon si coronary artery posterior descending artery deti hai. Posterior descending artery kis ki branch hai. This branch depends, uh, actually um, determines the dominance of the heart. Either the right coronary artery system is dominant or the left coronary artery system is dominant. Since 67% uh, of the population may posterior descending artery ya posterior interventricular artery is a branch of right coronary artery. So in 67% of the population, we can say that there is right cardiac dominance. The right coronary arterial system is dominant. Why? Why is this artery determining the uh, cardiac dominance? Why is it so important? But this is the largest branch of the Okay. Secondly, this branch supply karti hai adjacent areas of both ventricles. This is perforating interventricular septal branches deti hai into the interventricular system. So, based on its very important location, 
largest branch area it supplies it becomes a very important artery and because of which it actually is responsible to determine the dominance of the two coronary arterial system right or left and in 67% of the population since it is arising as a branch from the right coronary artery so in those 67% of the population we can say that the right uh, coronary arterial system is dominant so right right cardiac dominance is prevalent as compared to left cardiac dominance venous drainage of the heart iski jo sabse badi vein hoti hai usko kehte hain coronary sinus coronary sinus ab kya cheez hai it is the dilated large vein of the heart where is it located it lies in the posterior part of the av groove ये आपको पोस्टीरियर एस्पेक्ट दिखाया हुआ हार्ट का ये लेफ्ट एट्रियम है जो आपको पता है बेस ऑफ हार्ट भी बनाता है और ये दोनों लेफ्ट और राइट right वेंट्रिकल्स हैं और ये इनके डायफ्रोमेटिक सर्कल्स है तो एवी ग्रूव पीछे पोस्टीरियर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द एवी ग्रूव एट्रियो वेंट्रिकुलर ग्रूव जिसको कोरोनरी सेल्कस भी कहते हैं इसके अंदर ये जो आपको मोटी सी स्वेलिंग स्वोलन वेन नजर आ रही है इसका नाम है कोरोनरी साइनस ये कंटिन्यूएशन होती है पीछे से एक और मेजर वेन की जिसका नाम है ग्रेट कार्डिक वेन और ये वेन जो है ये इन तमाम वेन से ब्लड लेके कोरोनरी साइनस खुद कहाँ ओपन करता है इनटू द राइट एट्रियम अब कोरोनरी साइनस की ट्रिब्यूटरीज कौन कौन सी हैं स्मॉल एंड मिडिल कार्डिक वेन पोस्टीरियर वेन ऑफ द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल ओब्लिक वेन ऑफ द लेफ्ट एट्रियम एंड अल्टीमेटली ग्रेट कार्डिक वेन और ग्रेट कार्डिक वेन अल्टीमेटली ड्रेन करती है इनटू द कोरोनरी साइनस जिसकी ओपनिंग होती है इनटू द राइट एट्रियम लेफ्ट टू द ओपनिंग ऑफ द इंफीरियर वेना केवा ये एमसीक्यू है द अदर वेन्स व्हिच इंक्लूड द एंटीरियर कार्डिक वेन्स ये डायरेक्टली और इंडिपेंडेंटली ओपन करती है इन द राइट एट्रियम इसके अलावा विनिकॉर्डिस मिनिमी ये मल्टीपल स्मॉल वेन्स होती है ये भी ओपन करती है इंडिपेंडेंटली एंड डायरेक्टली इन द हार्ट चेन So, अगर आपसे कोई पूछे कि राइट right एट्रियम में कौन कौन सी ओपनिंग्स होती हैं तो आप क्या बताएंगे सुपेयर बेना केवा ओपन करती है इंटेयर बेना केवा ओपन करती है और इसके अंदर ट्राइकस्पिट वेल्व है जो कि एवी ओपनिंग है बिटवीन द राइट एट्रियम एंड द राइट वेंट्रिकल इसके अलावा कोरोनरी साइनस ओपन करता है इसके अलावा एंटीर कार्डिक वेन्स ओपन करती है इसके अलावा वेनेकॉर्डिस मिनिमी है so now you can well imagine ke how many orifices or openings are located within the right atrium now let's take a closer look at the tributaries of the coronary sinus first of all we have the great cardiac vein which is the major tributary for the coronary sinus aur jiski coronary sinus khud bhi continuation hoti hai so great cardiac vein begins near the apex of the heart and um, terminates at the beginning of the coronary sinus it lies more proximally to the circumflex artery which is a branch of the left coronary artery aur ye jo great cardiac vein hai ye kis artery ko accompany kar rahi hoti hai anterior interventricular artery ko ye mcq hai middle cardiac vein it accompanies posterior interventricular artery this is again an mcq and opens at the termination of the coronary sinus uh ye jo sari uh, mcqs hai na ye biva question bhi hain aur ye ospi mein hum spotting bhi lagate hain kyunki aapke paas jo heart ka model hai usme aapko ye is tarah se nazar aa raha hai let me show you a diagram name the vein and the artery located or present within the posterior interventricular groove the vein is middle cardiac vein and artery is posterior interventricular artery which vein and artery are located in the anterior interventricular groove to so, aap kya karenge great cardiac vein and anterior interventricular artery now what about small cardiac vein it accompanies the right marginal artery mcq runs in an atrioventricular groove and ends into the right end of the coronary sinus 
or it may directly independently open into the right atrium. Then we have another vein, which is called oblique vein of the left atrium of Marshall, very famous vein. It runs in the posterior surface of the left atrium and drains into the left end of the coronary sinus. Posterior vein of the left ventricle runs on the diaphragmatic surface of the left ventricle and ends in the middle of the coronary sinus. And right marginal vein accompanies the right marginal artery and drains into the small cardiac vein or may open directly into the right atrium. The clinical associated with the blood supply of the heart is triple vessel disease. The blood supply to the heart comes from the right coronary artery and left coronary artery, which are the first two branches of the aorta in the sinus of Valsalva. The left coronary artery is shorter and divides into anterior descending and circumflex artery. Triple vessel disease is the term used for the atherosclerotic narrowing of the three major blood vessels of the heart. Ye ab aapko point nahi bhoolna chahiye from examination point of view. Right coronary artery, left anterior descending and circumflex artery. Ye tino arteries beta jab heart ki block ho jati hai, jo ke hoti hai. Is condition ko, is disease ko kya kehte hai? Triple vessel disease. So koon si teen vessels block hoti hai? Right coronary artery, left anterior descending, and circumflex branch. Ye dono kiski branches hai? Left coronary artery ki or right coronary artery bazate ho. When the three vessels are blocked, this leads to major myocardial <clears throat> ischemia leading to myocardial infarction. Or in ko kol ne kili phir aapko angioplasty karni hoti hai. This mein aap stenting karte hain ya phir surgically kholte hain. Bypass karna padta hai ya phir angioplasty this mein aap stents introduce karte hain to keep these arteries patent, open. 